relationship with the New Zealand Chamber soloists goes way back. I would say we're talking, I don't know, maybe maybe 20 years. It's a really long time. And over that time, what happens is, because you keep sort of coming into contact with each other, um, you, you learn more about each other. And so when the time comes for me to write to them again, I've heard a lot of performances. I've heard them play other repertoire. I've talked with them, um, had, had wine with them, you know, just sort of gotten to know them. And so when I sit down to write music for them, I'm very aware of who they are as players and as people. Because in some ways, you can't really know who a player is, really, if you don't know what kind of person they are. You need to know all of that. I have always been very influenced by who I'm writing for, even knowing that other people will eventually play this music. Um, because for me, the the kind of the end point is to create something unique and if I think specifically about New Zealand chamber soloists I'll write a certain way like I think Jim plays a certain way you know I'll, I'll think about that when I'm writing um, and that will impact on the cello part for that trio that I'm writing it's positive you know it's a it's a kind of inspirational thing so it makes me want to do things a certain way because I know that that will generate a certain kind of performance. It doesn't matter to me that then it will go on and be played by complete strangers and it'll be different again because that is also a good thing. So this kind of pairing, it also works in reverse which is that the group itself um, is put in a position where they, they think quite a lot about the composer and their work. I've never ever been to a performance of my own music and thought, oh well that was right. You know, that, that's how it should have gone. You, you don't think about it in that way. You go, man, that was so interesting. You know, I, I got all this new stuff out of that. And it's made me think about that piece, about composing, about those performers, about this audience, this hall, you know, everything. It makes you, it makes you have a new understanding of things. I feel very much that the thing that music offers, which makes it worth spending a lifetime pursuing, is that it can go from the core of one person to the core of another person. And that means the core of the composer to the core of the performer, the core of the performer to the core of the listener, and therefore also from the core of the composer to the core of the listener. And so you have this, this triangular relationship, which is, which is a really beautiful thing. Mm -hmm.